pets are like our children. They're part of the family. And if they get sick and require a specialist, you may not know where to turn. This is Dr. Christopher Minarski. He's the medical director here at the VCA Animal Referral and Emergency Center of Arizona here in Mesa. And he says if you need a specialist, he can help. His hospital is second to none. Good to have you with us. So what is a veterinary specialist? A veterinary specialist, defined by the American, Col or American Veterinary Medical Association, is a veterinarian who has basically gone on to advanced training in a particular area, such as internal medicine, surgery, oncology, and neurology, and many, many more. And so when someone comes here to VCA, you guys are highly trained in this. Talk a little bit about the special training that it requires and how can the public be assured a veterinary is a specialist in a particular area? To evaluate that, uh, after the DVM, there is a four letter identifier that usually identifies the college that they've been through. Um, also, uh, being called a specialist is guided by that particular board just to make sure that only a specialist can use the things like like an ins a surgeon, an internist, and things of that nature. Yeah, so there is a lot of extra training, years correct. of training that is required, correct? Yes, typically it's about three to, fours, three to four years additional training in a particular subfield uh, or specialty. Yes, and a lot of those here at VCA. I want to talk about the expense, because I know you hear this, a lot of pet owners, they will not spare any expense when it comes to their fur baby. What kind of expense of advanced treatments and diagnostics can a, can a pet owner face? The expenses can actually vary quite a bit depending on the type of illness, the injuries, the surgeries that may be needed. Uh, we offer quite a bit of advanced imaging such as MRI, CT, things of those nature uh, that actually can add quite a bit to the expense. Right, but if we're coming to a trained hospital like this, we know you guys can handle that. We don't have to take our pet to multiple different places. Correct, much like the Mayo Clinic. That's really what I like to equate our business as. Uh, we're trying to provide that excellent care, that high compassion that you would find in a facility like that. Yes, and I was sharing with you in my wallet, I have my pet insurance card for Tucker. We just got him insured this year. Let's talk about the different pet insurance options available and why it's important to, to insure your pet. So pet insurance does vary quite a bit depending on the type of insurance policy that you get. Much like you or I, there are quite a few things to think about. The deductible that you would like to have, uh, the type of uh, expenses or pre-existing conditions, which is a, a lot of, it, it's a big topic right now for us. Uh, our pets actually do have those same requirements for the insurance and the insurance providers. Yes, but you say definitely get insurance if you can. Absolutely. Why is that so critical? Well, because of that, that expense can be uh, rather sudden, uh, unexpected, and the insurance, just like our insurance, helps provide that little bit of buffer uh, for us to be able to make those decisions for our pets. Yes, and we don't want to have to make that critical decision knowing money is behind that. And what sets VCA apart? Well, VCA, uh, here we try to provide the best, highest quality medicine available with compassion. I think that's really the big thing. I love that and we are very compassionate about our fur babies. Thank yes. you so much Dr. Minarski. We want to give you some information. Here is the contact information for VCA Animal Referral and Emergency Center of Arizona. They are located at 1648 North Country Club Drive in Mesa. That's about a half mile south of the 202 freeway. If you would like to book an appointment please call 480-877-0191 or visit the website VCA Rica.com.